promising feature in Brightspace is powerful but can take a lot of time to set up. In this video, I'm going to guide you through the process of uploading your exam view question banks to the question library in Brightspace to help save you some time. It's important to note though, you can only do one chapter at a time through this process. So while it might be a little bit lengthy, it is totally worth it in the long run. So let's dive right in and get started. Step one, you want to open up exam view. And then once it's opened, we're going to open up an existing question bank. So we're going to choose open an existing question bank. And then we're going to navigate to finding the question bank that we want to open up. So mine is on my desktop and it's in this folder here. And I'm going to choose chapter two because I've already done chapter one itself. So once you've found the file that you want to open, click open. You're going to wait for it to open up. And then you're going to move on to the next step. For step two, we want to export this question bank file so that we can import it into Brightspace. To do that, what we're going to do is go up to file, click on export, and then there are a few options here, but you want to choose the Blackboard 7.1 Plus. This is going to bring you into, into a window where you can save your file. So we're going to call this Chapter 2. And you want to make note of where you're saving it to. The default is that it will save into the same file that you opened up your question bank from. If you want to pick somewhere else, now is the time to do so. So I'm going to choose to save this to my desktop instead. When you're happy with that, click Save. And then in this window here, we're going to give a little bit more information as to our file name. So this is important because it's going to help us figure out what questions are in each of the different folders within Brightspace itself. What I like to do in the name is I like to, to title it what the chapter name is, and then also what the title of the chapter is as well. So that just gives me a little bit more information as to what questions are available within that particular folder. You can give it a description if you want, but you don't need to. You don't need to do anything with formatting or feedback, but you should give it a directory name. And so for the directory name, I like to stick with the name of the file that I used in the previous window. So I'm just going to call this chapter two with no spaces and then click OK. So what this is doing is it's creating a zip file that you can now import into Brightspace. So really important that you just remember where you save the file to so that you can find it for the next step. Once this is done, we can close exam view and move on to step three. For step three, in your core shell, you're going to go to the teacher support and then you're going to choose Edit Course. From there, what you want to do is scroll down and locate the Import Export Copy Components. Once you've found that, click on that. And then what we're trying to do here is import in our zip file that we made in the previous step. So you're going to scroll down and you're going to select import components and by default it's set on from a course package so you just want to leave it there once you've done that click start and then at this point you're going to go and find the file that you created in our previous step so for this i'm going to click upload 
I'm going to go find my chapter two file and then click open. And that's going to upload the file to there. You could also just simply drag and drop it onto this window. Once you've done that, you're going to click on import all components. You're then going to have to wait for, for a few minutes while the file is uploaded, converted, and then imported into your course shell. In our next step, now that your course package has been imported or your file has been imported, you can either click on view content to see, and this will navigate you to your content page, or you can go and import another package and import the rest of the chapters from your question bank. I'm just going to click on view content for now. And then this simply takes me to the content section of my Brightspace course, course shell. If I want to now go and view my questions in my question bank, I would click on assessments and go to quizzes. And then from here, what you'll see is manage quizzes, question library, and statistics. So you want to click on question library. And then you'll notice that your chapter that you've just imported is found here. If you click on it, you'll be able to see all the questions that you just imported. Now it's really important to keep in mind that sometimes there are issues with importing the files into Brightspace. So sometimes there's formatting issues with images or mathematical formulas or scientific notation. So you really want to go in and make sure you check your questions before you use them with students. Our last and final step is totally optional, but if you want, you can also organize your question library into folders. In order to create a folder, you can click on new and then section. From here, you could give your section a title. So I'm just going to call this biology 11. Once you're happy with that, you can click save. And then now if you want to move your chapters to specific folders, you're going to come down this line and click on the checkboxes for the ones that you want to move. You're then going to select move and then pick where you want that chapter to go. So I'm going to put that in the folder that I just made called biology 11. It will now automatically move that to your folder. So this just gives you a way to organize your questions, your chapters, and your folders a little bit more within Brightspace. If we click on the Biology 11, you can see Chapter 2 is now in there. Now that your questions are imported into Brightspace, you can use them whenever you're creating a quiz. So if you go into a quiz, and then you go to add or edit questions. Instead of adding a new question, you're going to go to the import. You're going to go browse question library. And then in here, you can simply go in and take a look at the different folders that you have in here and select the questions that you want to add to your quiz. So say I want to add these three questions to my quiz, I check them off, and then I click on Add. And there you go. They've been added now to your quiz. So hopefully this has helped you to save a little bit of time and to get those questions into your question bank quickly and efficiently. Thanks for watching.